That's officially the craziest thing I've seen fire-wise. It was a summer of mass destruction. Hundreds of thousands of hectares burned. It was a season of very uncharacteristic fire behavior, and it came upon us very, very quickly. All fueled by an unprecedented heat dome. It supercharged the system, uh, and it, it, it's like adding, you know, uh, nitrous oxide to an engine. You know, it's just purring along just fine, and then you hit this, and it's just, it just goes boom. And it was everything, every new start was just, just going really, really big, very, very fast. It was also the most expensive season on record, costing north of $700 million. But even worse than the financial impact? The human toll last summer was also exceptional. Communities, homes, lives destroyed. Up until the end of June, it looked like a normal BC wildfire season. Then, temperatures soared, reaching record highs. That heat dome um, created hot, hot, dry conditions in a spring where we'd already had some, some drought beginning to develop. Because of a lack of rainfall and the early melt of our snowpacks, vegetation was dry, the perfect tinder. It's a ticking time bomb out there. So the more we have of it accumulating the landscape, when the bomb goes off, it's just a bigger bomb. I think, I think that's uh, pretty hot. April 1st marks the official start of the wildfire season. And with three of the worst occurring in the past five years, experts say this is likely the new normal. Longer, drier, hotter seasons. I would have thought up until 2015 that was the future. It was coming in the 2030s to 2050s of climate change. What we now know is those conditions are here and now. So now that we know what's coming, they say the most important job becomes how we prepare. That shift seen at the legislature, with increased funding for the BC Wildfire Service in this year's budget, turning it from a seasonal operation to year-round. The focus primarily of the Wildfire Service was response, um, and this year we'll start to see us dabbling a bit more into the other areas of emergency management, so that includes prevention and mitigation. And she says that responsibility falls to all of us, from prescribed burning by the service, to local municipal governments and homeowners keeping their properties fire smart, and each individual making sure they aren't a fire starter. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.